rolling tape. is slowly growing well I've got this side down to the bottom and now I gotta do is get this side I've transplanted the strawberry plants that were here and uh, it's time to move out another what <laughs> fourth of this thing <laughs> there's about half the dirt <laughs> got that much more to go I'm gonna have a mountain there we're about halfway done now that's the unloaded part and we got this thing tilted upright and ready to rock and roll gonna do a little repair on the bottom of this before we upright it it's been quite a number of years and i think it needs to be redone what do you think we're gonna do it we're gonna get it done that separation between the boards that hole in the board there that was not there when i put this thing together it must have shrunk <laughs> the boards did but that's odd because it didn't tear out the screws it didn't break them well what i decided to do is take off the top boards here and drop them down to get rid of that slot it's tight fit <laughs> that's it well that's the beginning just for the record, so I remember what goes where. <laughs> we got it four boards. That should be relatively simple. Let's see, I'm going to mark that one one, two, three, and four. Good progress here. Three of the four boards is off. Let's go for that number four. Just letting the stain dry now before reassembly. No, that's not blood, that's just stain. I managed to get some on the wood and managed to get some on me too. Paint hardening up in the hot sunlight. It's gonna be over 100 today. When you pick out a eight foot board at the home improvement place and you ask them, cut it in half, you think an eight foot board would give you two four foot pieces, but that's not so. <laughs> They may do a great job of cutting it in half, but 
the board that come from the factory is 8, 8.1, 8.2. And so if you want them all the same or you need them all the same, you have to do a little trimming. Not a professional setup here, but it gets the job done. Little bit more. It's gonna get noisy. Okay, a spot on the money. All this dirt was under these pieces of metal here. While I was studying Spanish, I took a little short siesta. Seth's come out here and moved all the dirt off of the metal. Awesome, thanks bud. The goal of today was to get uh, these cross members in and they're in and then flip it over and then install the metal bottom. Okay, so far got the cross members in, but oh, wouldn't you know it, I was 13 screws short and had to make a trip to Home Depot and they didn't have it. Then I had to go to Lowe's and get it, but I got her done. So. We got these in, so we're about halfway done with today's project. It's 100 degrees outside. I got this metal in, but it's not fixed. Just needs to have some cogitation going on to figure out what I'm going to do next. What we've done here is put a string up to align it exactly north-south. I don't know why I want to do that. I just want to do that. So when I put the garden in place, I'll measure from the line over and we'll have it exactly lined up north and south for whatever good that's gonna do or not. I don't know, but it's just the thing I wanna do. Okay, I got it moved and it's lined up north-south. Now I just gotta level this baby. <laughs> I'm leveling and doing all that before I put the rest of that 200 pounds of wood and four tons of dirt in there. Well, it's all downhill now, or all uphill now. Sucker's ready for dirt. Just move that into there, uh-huh. You're right. Thursday at about 8.50 p.m., the sun set about 30 minutes ago. You remember this big old pile of dirt that was here for several weeks? Well, it's gone. It's gone. And there it is. Hey, this is pretty good. It's almost dark out here, and this iPhone is just opening up and, uh, and anyway, whatever it does to make it light. There's fancy terms for that. Got all the tools put away. Got the wheelbarrows ready for rain. And anyway, I am so done for the day, but I didn't want to let the rain catch me. Hannah, please bring us rain. Mm -hmm. 